Hi there, I'm Amy Riles with Honestly Horses and I thought I would show you what it looks like when I teach a horse how to ground tie and how to get out of my space. Someone actually asked me to do this with a Morgan. So this is Gus. Gus is my 14 year old gated Morgan horse. He is a, uh, a registered gated Morgan and he's super fun, but I have not actually even put a halter on Gus for about six months. And so I thought he'd be perfect because he's he ticks all the boxes. I haven't messed with him lately at all. Um, he most definitely is uh, very personable and wants to be in my space as you can see. So first of all, how I do that is I start by helping a horse learn how to stay out of my space until invited into it. And I'm just gonna remind him what that looks like real quick. So I'm gonna ask him to just back up. We're gonna walk out here a little bit so you can see a little bit better first. We're gonna go this way first. Good job. So I have in my hand a flag. You don't have to have a flag. This horse is pretty sensitive, so he doesn't really require a flag. I just thought I would show you what that looks like if I do have one and how it works if I do and what I use it for. So first of all, if you notice, when I moved, he already stepped away from me and he's waiting right there. My purpose right here is to remind him that we ground tie. So we're gonna get to that point. As you saw him just take a step forward, I'm just gonna say, no, didn't really ask for that. So back on up again, out of my bubble. Yes, I know it's so hard. So hard. And then I'm just gonna move his feet a little bit. So I'm gonna ask him for some direction here. I'm gonna get him to go this way. me then I'm just gonna ask him to get off of me again so it's important that I teach him that when I invite him into my bubble into my Space, he can come there, so I'm going to ask him to do that. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'm not so good. You're not very good. You're not very fond of that. Good boy. show you what it looks like when he doesn't, if he doesn't.
That's a very good boy. That's a very good boy. We haven't done this in a very long time, so I'm actually surprised I was able to get three feet from him. Good boy. Very good boy. Now I'll give him a second, see if he moves his foot. Nope. Didn't ask for that. Back him up. Park him again. So one of the things I do is I always try to put my horse really close to the first spot I ask them to wait in. I've tested this before with horses and actually left my round pen, gone to the tack room, gotten something that I needed and come back to the round pen and my horse has been where I've left them. I've not done this with him much at all, but it doesn't take very long. So the key is that when I ask a horse to move its feet, I have direction and I have a willingness for them to do that and go where I ask when I ask so that when I don't ask, the feet don't move. And that's what he's doing right now. I'm really pleased with him because it's been so long and he's just being a really good boy. But that's Gus and he's my gated Morgan Gelding. And this is Amy Riles with Honestly Horses. If you would, click that like button and subscribe because I'm trying to be better about asking people to do that. And I really, really, really appreciate that. Thanks for watching y'all. And until next time, happy trails.